What up, what up, what up? We are back. Back at Blackjacks. Welcome to Two Dudes and a Mexican. Happy Sunday. I'm your host, Peter Soprano, a.k.a. The Sports God. And today I'm going to be the resident Mexican. But no, no. <laughs> to my right is the resident Mexican, David Quinones. And we have a full day of NFL Sunday for, for today and week 16. But before we even get to that, we got to quickly talk about yesterday's unbelievable boxing fight yeah. between Jamel Charlo and Tony Harrison. The two guys hate each other, and they actually performed like they hate each other because they really slugged it out. What, what do you think about What are some of your comments before that fight? It was a great fight. Uh, I don't think the fans thought they were going to get what they got. So you definitely got your money's worth with that fight yesterday yeah. if you watched it. Mm. Um, very surprising, obviously, with Harrison coming out aggressive the way he did. Yeah, surprisingly. Um, surprisingly. Because, obviously, Charlo's got the power. Um, you know, we were talking about it before the show. Uh, if you come out aggressive like that, you got to make sure that you're not going to get hit. Yeah. You got to make sure your defense is on point. He want to fight. And you got to make sure that your game plan is airtight. He want to fight. Um, and I can appreciate wanting to you fight. Can, yeah, definitely. Because they hate definitely. each other. Yeah. And a lot of people, they talk all this shit. They say, oh, I don't like this guy. And then they come out and pity pat for like 12 rounds and they get a decision and they hug after and all that shit. They actually don't like each other. Yeah, they don't like each so other. I like, so I, I like that, that they did that. I mean, I know traditionally people say that anger is the enemy. So, um, you know, you can use that anger, but you got to use it, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah. in, in, in a in a it should you know, make you tactical con- you know exactly. way. Not you can't let your emotions get the best. of It you. should make you concentrate more, yeah. not yes. just get wild and get out of control. And, and Charlo was wilder sometimes. You can just see him. No, swinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was out. swinging for the fences, but he so, caught him. He caught he, him. He caught him, and he's got the pop. And but it was really entertaining. I mean, really close. Uh, you know, before the TKO came, I mean, I, I, I had yeah, a lot of people had a lot of people had Harrison yeah. up. I had it even. I had it even. Well, I had Charlo at one point because so. of the knockdown, so I, I had it oh, even yeah, in yeah, rounds, yeah. and I had him at one point. And and I want to go on a little rant for a second because people like Teddy Atlas and a lot of Twitter people on uh, Warriors and shit on there, they want to talk shit saying, oh. If you had to fight even or you had Charlo up, like, you really don't know how to judge. And Teddy Atlas said this, too. I'm like, first of all, judging as a sport in, in boxing, judges, that's what they do. So everybody judges differently. Somebody judges by most hits. Somebody judges by um, how effectively you box. Some people judge by if you hurt the other person. So there's a lot of different ways you can judge a fight. So for you to come out and say, oh, you, you don't know how to judge because you didn't judge it the way I expect you to judge it, it's just stupid. Like... I can understand you if you respect somebody's opinion and you disagree. That's one thing. But if you completely like disrespect somebody and, and disrespect their opinion, then I don't want to hear shit from you. So I don't want to hear Tony Atlas. I don't want to hear everybody else saying, "Oh, well, I had I had Harrison up seven three or eight two. So That's your crazy. opinion not your opinion doesn't mean anything." I'm like, "Fuck you." Now, listen, Dougie Fisher is somebody from the ring I respect, and. He had a 7-3. I told him, no, I had a 5-5. Five, five. He was like, you know what? I can see that. Like, that's how you're supposed to be. You're supposed exactly. to be respectful of people's opinion. You don't say, oh, no, you don't know how to judge. What the hell is wrong with you? Like, that's just stupid. So well, it's it's in the eye of beholder. So exactly. Honestly, so, um, you know, we and, and that's the reason why in boxing you see so many cars yeah, that are so yeah, different. Because everybody judges a different way. Like, you, some people do Olympic-style boxing. Like, all right, you got more. And that's why they rely heavily on the punch stats. They'll say, all right, this guy contacted him more. and may not have hurt him, but he, he technically boxed better. I'm going to give it to him. While the other guy will go for aggressive. Like, he may have missed a lot. Charlo missed a lot. He threw twice as many punches as Harrison. They connected and connected the same amount of time. So his percentage was way down. But he was super aggressive. And he, I mean, he connected, came he connected the whole with time. the ones that needed to connect. And he connected with the ones that mattered. And he got the knockdowns, obviously. Yeah, so. exactly. So it's huge. So it's all, it's all, everybody's a different judge. Like, you should respect everybody's opinion and just move along from there. But we got to talk about your boy, your paisano. Mr. Chavez Jr. Yeah, he's not my boy, first of all. He is my paisano, Listen, but he's not it's my boy. If Sam Darnold is my boy, then Chavez is your boy, all right? So he's oh, your boy. Man. This guy's in the hospital laid up like this oh, with man. his blonde and blue hair. And and he made a mockery of the sport, in my opinion. So what do you have to say about, about Mr. Chavez Jr.? Two words. Yeah. Mexican. <laughs> That's all two right. words? Uh, yeah, tell you or one word. Or I don't one know, word. whatever. <laughs> Mexican. I mean, listen, uh, you know, with the name Chavez, you know, comes, you know, a, a high guard of respect, Definitely. you know, especially in, in, in boxing history because of his father. Yep. And he obviously has not lived up to the name uh, to quit like that in the fifth round. You know, uh, you can look at his dad. He was a, like, oh, in a, fuck. In, in a so big opportunity against, I mean, I mean, listen, let, let, let's give credit to Daniel, uh, Daniel. Jacobs. Oh, yeah. He I mean, the, the guy is a hell of a fighter. Yes. I mean. Definitely one of the best in the division. Um, <laughs> that you know, look, but, but, I, uh, but like I said before, when 
when guys like you know Paul Malinaji can you know fight with a broken jaw against a, you know uh, dangerous people like Miguel Cotto. I mean, come on, man. This is a broken you can't, nose. It's just a fucking broken nose. A lot. Um, almost every boxer to be a boxer, you almost I mean, have to have a broken Jesus, nose just to be a boxer. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't think it was the broken nose. I I, I really think that he thought he was going to get really really hurt because. You know, he couldn't keep up with Daniel Jacobs, and, and he, he saw I still remember when Victor how Ortiz. dangerous is. Uh, I remember when Victor Daniel Ortiz um, lost to uh, oh my God. Donnie. I was like, yeah, yeah I'm, too, too. I'm too young to be hurt oh like this. Oh, my God. So, like, crazy, man. Crazy. You, you got to just the issue. Baffle, so. What's the issue? About if he's a disappointment to his dad? And of course he is. No, I think he's on drugs. Uh, I mean, he, keep, he keeps skipping drug tests. Exactly. He came in five pounds yeah. over. He acted like he, he didn't. Could be, he, could he, be. he just gave up the million dollars. Said, "Here, take it. I'll, I'll do what I want." And he still got paid the two mil. And and he he just listen. Boxing is enabling this guy. Well, I, I think I, I think his heart is not. They are. Not, they are. Yeah, but it's, 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 because they keep paying him. He, 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 his heart is not in it. The first time. His heart is not in it. They, they, he did it again. Like we thought, he's not going to do it again. He keep paying. They keep it's, paying him to to do this because because of the name. Yeah. So hopefully they they'll stop doing that they won't. because he doesn't deserve the big fights. They won't. Uh, if you're gonna quit in the first fifth round, why not give that fight to a hungry fighter who's gonna go out there, put everything on the line, you know, to become a champion? Because they're not gonna bring you know, in the amount of people that he will. And that that sucks. despite sucks. despite people and despite, boxing is a business. But despite people still, not yeah. liking him and and how he acts and how he's acquitted, they're still gonna watch. Like because Mexicans are still gonna support him because of his name. They, yeah. they know his dad is there and they're well, gonna support him because of that. I think they still will. I think they were throwing bottles. That was that was surprising. That was surprising. I didn't expect that. They that was surprising. They, they Adrian Broner him. <laughs> That's what they did. They Adrian Broner him. Where they got the fruit, but they weren't selling. Yeah, yo, that shit was crazy. They, first of all, how do you walk out of the arena with one boot? Like somebody threw a boot in the ring. Maybe you, maybe you, maybe you went and got it back. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> he threw it in the ring, that like, that, like what the and, hell? And, and definitely disrespectful to you know Daniel Jacobs because again it was a hell of a win for him. Um, you know when you put in all that work, um, you know for a big fight you show up your game, you know game night, you know fight night, and you do you go out and do what you did. You know it, it is disrespectful to the, 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 like the fans weren't <laughs> angry at him. Let's get that straight. The fans were happy. No, he won. They're fine with Jacobs. Yeah, it was all about it was all about Chavez, Chavez. Yeah. And, and and his dad is now going to be a permanent meme because it's just that's just a meme of disappointment. <laughs> so, two memes: one when him going like this, and then two when him at his bedside <laughs> as his son with the blonde and blue hair is just laid up in a hospital bed. Like I, I saw one yesterday. It was like it's the hardest decision of my life. You're gonna have to pull the cord, doctor. It's like, no, no, it's just, it's just a broke. No, pull the cord. <laughs> like, pull the cord, it's, it's, God damn it. it's bad. So it was bad. We'll, we'll uh, see if he. I think he's still gonna get another big fight just because he's crazy. Chavez Junior. So I think he's. Fight Canelo then, so Canelo I, knock him out he already did. 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 So uh, he'll quit. Yeah, he will quit. He'll fucking quit before he'll, the, the, he'll the quit. fight's he over. He'll, he'll quit this time. Canelo's going to hit that one shot and yeah. break his jaw. He'll, he'll quit this time. Run. Canelo's just sucker him in, like, acting like he's winning the round. It's like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> just drill him and then that's it. But we got the boxing out of the way. We'll have probably have our events. We got we had a lot of events to end the year, so we had to get a couple boxing events in. But congratulations! And the, next week, princess. and next week, and <laughs> Pineapple Pine Princess the, kept, kept her belt last week, the, the last night in Bellator. Last night. Last night. Jackson's no joke. All right. So, with that said, it's Sunday football. Zang and dang. Good job. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got to throw UFC yes, in yesterday, had three football games. <clears throat> All of them were actually really good. Yep, First so. game, Houston found a way to clinch the division title. They beat Tampa Bay. Close one. What, what were sitting? Yeah, I blew that too. Like, <laughs> what, what were your thoughts on that game? Listen, uh, um, definitely a closer game than I thought it'd be. Um, t- <laughs> obviously, Dude, the, Jameis is the funnest I was about quarterback. To say the, He's the, the funnest big, quarterback in the NFL. I, I, I was about man. to say, the biggest this crazy guy, is that those four picks. Yo, he I mean, throws his team in and out of games <laughs> within the same half. Yo. Uh, <laughs> what, did he say, what did he say at the best conference? Yeah, I, when I don't throw interceptions? Or what, what did he say? Yeah, uh, I, I'm going to be better when I don't throw When I don't throw interceptions. Some shit like that. I was like, what? Like, you're never going to not throw interceptions. <laughs> I know, I mean, crazy. But, yo, he, he throws the ball downfield. He throws it 40 yards. Yo, he, he is the funnest quarterback to watch in that NFL. It, it, it's tough to take away, you know, you know th- that game because obviously it was like I said, it was closer than than what I thought it'd be. Yeah. Um, you know, 
Uh, Deshaun Watson, I mean, his numbers bad. were, I mean, it was bad. He looked bad. But they were able to grind it out. I was so, very surprised. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, all right, are the Bucks' defense that good? No. To make that offense look that bad? I have no or idea did they just Texas. have a bad game, but they were able to grind it out and, and win that, t- you know, win the um, the division? I'm blaming the Texans. So, um, but. Because Tampa's yeah. defense is giving it up to everybody. That's crazy. So, so. I, for them to have a bad game like that. Especially when you get four interceptions and they still didn't put up like 40 points or anything like that. That offense was just horrible yesterday. But listen, the Texans have found, found a way, you know, to, to, to obviously they had in the beginning of the season, you know, there was a lot of question marks, you know, if they were going to make the playoffs again. Uh, they weren't looking as good as, as, as last year. Um, and they don't look good as last year yeah. um, if, you, if you look at the numbers. But they found a way. Yeah. They found a way to make it into the playoffs to clinch their playoff spot yep. and their Plus ticket. The and hopefully they can work out the kinks because, listen, the playoffs are, are right around no, the corner. I hope, I hope don't so work out you nothing. Better, you, be, you better work I out. I hope don't work out nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's I right. I not the first you. round. I don't care. They don't want to work out nothing. First of all, rest your players next week. Yeah. Rest your players next week. You're, you're going Because I was about to say, yeah. You're, 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 it doesn't mean anything. Now, it doesn't matter that you're going against the Titans. Just, just rest your people. And then week one the playoffs, then you can see what happens from there. But – I don't think they're going anywhere. I don't think they're that good. Um, second game of the day was another really good game. Disappointing, man. Disappointing um, game. Yes, it was a little bit of disappointment, but, I mean, I thought the Bills were going to pull it out. Bills versus, so too, Bills versus New England. So it was a one-score game. They were right there, and they just couldn't put it through. I, so, Bills Mafia, but they made the playoffs. Yep. They, they have a 10-win team. <clears throat> they're probably going to win next week to get to 11 wins, and they're going to be in the playoffs. What do you think about one the Bills and two about that game yesterday? Uh, the, the game was disappointing because again I, I thought the Bills definitely put themselves in a position to win. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't like the play calling, you know, that when they were you know first and goal. Um, I know what they were trying to do. They yeah. were trying to run down the clock a little bit because yeah. they didn't want to give the Patriots you know time to come back and, and kick a field goal. Yeah, but you, you know you got to score when you, you got to score. score, man. And and that's the problem sometimes when you see these teams go against the Patriots. They go away from from what works. You know, yeah. keep it simple. Don't get cute with these plays. Uh, definitely disappointing. But listen, that defense. And I don't think the players were scared yesterday. I think they came in and they was like, "Yo, no, we could beat, we could beat New England." Yeah, like definitely. I could see it in how they were playing. You like know, in there New was England, no fear. So, there was no fear. Like um, they don't fear New England. But I, I listen. I, I think this team. Oh, that's gonna be the new dance they're already, yeah, <laughs> they already listen. They already they already made the playoffs. <laughs> I think they're, they're going to be a sleeper team in the playoffs, man. Uh, listen, a, 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 as long as Allen is doing his thing with this offense, because mm-hmm. this defense, this defense is a, one of the best defenses in the, in the league. Yeah, and they're going to do well in the playoffs. So, Twenty twenty nine um, total touchdowns, uh, nine interceptions for Allen this year. Crazy, good, man. Really uh, good year. But I, I I I think listen, if they can keep this boat you know together in this offense, and as long as Allen you know makes makes those plays and doesn't make mistakes in the playoffs, mm-hmm. they're going to go far. I think, man. I agree. I think they have the, the system that you want. You want to be able to run mm. the ball, and not only can Singletary, not only Gore and his backup right now in his older days, but also J. Allen, they can all run the ball. And that was actually the changing point because they, they looked like there was a point where New England was going to go up two scores and go up three scores and blow them away. But then there was a third down where Allen ran for 11 yards, got the first down. I thought he needed to run more because if you look at the first game, he ran a <clears> lot. They were close the same way. They lost that game by six, but he got hurt. I think if he didn't get hurt, they would have won that first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This game, I, I think they tried to throw the ball a little bit too much. I think, that, yes, they were able to stop the run with Singletary, but I thought Allen needed to run the ball a little bit more. When he didn't have people that were open, instead of trying to force it down the field, run for the 10 yards, get out of bounds, or run for the ten, eight yards and slide. I thought they could have moved the sticks more and kept the offense rolling a little bit more if he had ran the ball. Oh, let's talk about that 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 face mask that wasn't called in the end, too. Oh, the fourth and I mean, one, too. bullshit. It was almost I mean, if that, if that was Brady, oh. they would have called that shit. And did you see so Brady tripped the dude? That was bullshit. Brady tripped the dude. Of course. You're not going like, to get those calls in New England, I guess. Oliver was getting up on the floor. The Bills, so. the Bills rookie, Oliver, is getting up on Ed Oliver, <clears> and he's walking away from Brady, and Brady grabs his foot and trips him. I'm like, nothing goes. Oh, the referee's right there. New England. Oh, it was ridiculous. So New England gets all the calls. They yeah. do. They always get all the calls. And the no calls. So that's why I said yesterday. In their just, favor. That's why I said yesterday. Everybody was Bills Mafia. Nobody was <laughs> yesterday. It was just horrible. All right, but let's get to the third game of the day: San Francisco and the Rams. San Francisco um, 49ers. Rams suck. I don't care about. <laughs> like, they annoy me now. We know. Like, we've know that. Yeah, uh, they they, know, they annoy me because years, they're so. they're always a team that's supposed to be better than they are. 
they they finally have their offense rolling because they decide that their the know it all coach that's supposed to be the guru finally decided. Oh, we do have to give the ball girly all the time. Girly. Like the first half of the season, he's trying to make golf be his star, and golf is fucking up the whole half of the year. They decide the second half of the year. Let's give it to girly. They start playing and scoring points during the second half of the year. <laughs> Should have won the game yesterday, but again, right in, when it really when it really mattered, they let golf control instead of giving it to Gurley again. So, they, listen, I think I always said that McVay was a little bit overrated when I saw him in that Super Bowl, and he then he pretty much just fucking stuck wow. against New England. That was completely horrible versus New England. Yep. So ever since then, I've always looked at him a little different, and he started this whole year looking a little bit different. So I'm not as high on the boy genius as everybody is, but what do you think about that game and him? Um, yeah, it, 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 it definitely turned out, you know, how, how I thought. I thought the 49ers would definitely take this game. Um, listen. They shouldn't uh, have, though. Like, the, the Rams, Rams had The it. Rams, yeah, but the, the Rams just – they find a way to lose this season. Um, they took a step back, obviously. Um, you know, they lost against Dallas, you know, last week in an ugly fucking game. I mean, they just really got run over. Um, I didn't think they had a chance. They, they Obviously, like you said, they did have a chance. They, they, they put themselves in the driver's seat to win this game. But they just found a way to lose. Um, and, again, credit to the 49ers for finding a way to win. Because this team, again, great team, great defense, um, you know, they have their receiving core. Mm-hmm. They have a great, a really good running game, um, and, and a good quarterback in uh, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm-hmm. Um, listen, I'm, I'm with you. I, I'm not sold on um, Mr. Boy Genius anymore. No, nope. um, you know, he, he, all those he, people that went out and got their <clears throat> his office coordinator and his quarterbacks coach and his all everything. They're not. I mean, just just because none you, of us out. Just because you do it one year doesn't mean you know that makes you you know a, a great coach. Yeah. you gotta you know you gotta duplicate that. You gotta do that next year and the year after and the yep. year after. Those are the good. Like, coaches like the genius is offensively is Andy Reid. He's oh, been yeah. doing it for oh, yeah. 15 yeah. years. You see, you see Reid and anywhere he's gone. You yeah, know, he, he, he they have an offense. So they have an offense. Um, you know, obviously he's great with quarterbacks. Yep, and uh, running backs and, and grooming them and, and and running backs. So um, this that, guy has Damian Williams as running back, and he had a good good end of the year and start of the year this year. Like that's just what he does. Yeah. So, so. But, uh, again, uh, disappointing for the Rams and uh, really great for the Niners. I'm going to keep doing like the Ross because I'm <laughs> keep going. <laughs> but, nobody cares about the fucking 49ers. But, but, that, but now the 49ers won. They'll be playing for a division title next week against Seattle. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that next week. Okay. But now we move on to today. <laughs> Before we even get to the playoff implication games, for some weird reason, I don't know how the NFL does it every year, but they have in week 16 that the top four teams in the draft right now, order, are all playing each other. You have the, and it's like, a, it's like a bracket for the toilet bowl right now. It is, it is, you, got the, really you got the number one seed Cincinnati versus the number four seed Miami, and then you got the Giants versus the Redskins. Let's let's Chase start Young Bowl. Let, like, pretty much. Let's let's start it off first. Chase let's start off with Miami and Cincinnati, <laughs> two teams that are horrible. We know Miami. I think is going to win personally because I, I think so. I just think because so. I think they don't mind picking fourth. Like they'll take two at fourth if they want to. So and that's the guy they're really enamored with. So I, I don't think they mind that. Cincinnati has to lose because if they win today. That screws up everything for them. They, they may not get the first pick. They won't get the quarterback to replace Dalton. They may drop all the way to fourth by the end of the year. So they don't want to win at all. I think they, <laughs> they desperately have to lose today. So I got Miami win today. What about you? No, I got Miami too. Uh, like you said, I mean, I think Miami just finds a way to mess it up too. Joe Burrow's is an Ohio, <laughs> guy, Ohio guy. And, but, uh, and but, they got to draft, draft the hometown <laughs> guy and they're going to uh, blow it. And I'm with you. I mean, listen, Cincinnati, I definitely think, you know, if they get that first pick, they're going QB. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's been so tumultuous, you know, this season with their quarterback. Their quarterback Eddie situation Dalton. is horrible. Eddie Dalton is a bum. So, um, everything's been horrible. Eddie even even the situation bum. with A.J. Green. I mean, it's just been it's Yo, just been, A.J. Uh, Green. Been, uh, A.J. Green has been questionable since, like, week five <laughs> know, of the year. And he hasn't played a snap. <laughs> yeah, he and really... I, was, I was one of the dummies that drafted him, yes. <laughs> and kept him on my bench. I don't know why. So, yeah. But, um, but, yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah I, I think, I think uh, Miami takes it today. All right, so we're both on Miami. Now to the other game. You're New York <laughs> Giants yes. versus the Washington Red. And you guys have to lose. Like, listen, <laughs> oh, I, of all the games you won last week, you're still the number two, number two pick. You have to lose this week because if the Redskins are ahead of you, you're not getting Chase Young. <sighs> and Chase Young is by far, even with all the quarterbacks, if you're talking about the best overall player in this draft, the most it is Chase player. Young. Yeah, and definitely. you guys need need a pass rusher. So this Chase Young Bowl. This this is the Chase Young Bowl. Whoever loses this will take Chase Young with the number two pick. And who knows if Cincinnati wins, maybe they'll be number one pick. But the point is that. 
Do you think they're going to lose, or do you think the Giants are actually going to win this game? You know Sherman likes to try. No, no, no. I, I think we're going to lose and this game. the first meeting of these two quarterbacks. I, 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 think we're, I, think, I think they're going to lose this game because Eli Manning's not playing. Really? Yes. Um, really? You know, it's... This is the guy who's big on Daniel Jones. <laughs> Daniel Jones is back. But listen, he hasn't played in two weeks. Uh, there's going to be a little rust there. I hope they conserve Saquon Barkley a little bit. I hope so too. These games I hope do not so too. fucking I'm going mean anything. Fantasy, so with the exception of <laughs> with the exception of the pick, but I, I think we find a way to lose uh, against Washington. The game is in Washington, so obviously mm-hmm. they have home field today. Uh, I think it's going to be a close game. I think Rosas uh, misses a couple more field goals. Wow! I'm not shocked. Wow! <laughs> I'm not shocked. But well, no, I, I think the Giants uh, find a way to lose. Now here's the biggest question: <clears throat> Will you be upset if they won? Not really, no. I mean, because, <laughs> I would be. because I would be. I mean, you know, I, I don't I'm want like, them to lose. You know, I, I don't want. I don't no, want, I want to keep losing. No, but, I would. I would want them to lose. But, but like for the better of my franchise, no, for the for the better lose. for the better of my franchise, I would want them to lose. That's why I don't care. Like that's why. Like I, I, I really don't care. These games, yeah, they don't mean anything. But, because let's say you know, a, a draft pick. So. Let's say you go from two to four. <laughs> so you go from having Chase Young. To I don't know maybe a wide receiver which you don't really need that bad or maybe an offensive tackle. But I wouldn't make you know. But, but the it, point it, is it, that it, if your biggest need is getting a pass rusher and you'll be giving him up by losing by winning a me- meaningless game today. So I would be mad if they won. I wouldn't be mad again. I, I don't. I don't really care. Um, you know, at this point, um, you know, I, I think. I think part of me too is is you know do you want to mess up the development of Daniel Jones? I mean, even though yeah, these games don't mean any, anything, but reps do matter. So um, reps with your team matter. So especially in the live game. But again, on the other side of the coin, it doesn't. You know, what is Washington going to do? I, I mean, are they going to tank too? Because do they want you know to get? Washington just isn't so, good. <laughs> I mean, they're they play not hard, they're, but they're not good. <clears throat> um, so all right, so from one New York team to the next. Oh, let's go Jets. <laughs> Let's go, go Jets. Jets. Let's, Let's go, go Jets. Jets. That's for That's you, the, Dre. That is all for Dre right there. <laughs> See, so if, if being in this cold weather, I hope y'all lose. So <laughs> Jets play the Pittsburgh Steelers today right here in the Meadowlands. And for some weird reason, I think the Jets are going to pull this off. <laughs> I think the Jets are going to pull this off. Uh, I don't trust Duck. I don't trust Devlin. So he had a horrible game last week against the Bills. And I understand that it's the Bills. They're not the Jets. But he's a rookie. He's a young kid that's playing in pretty much a playoff game right now. He has to win one. Next, first of all, he has to win two to clinch a playoff spot. Because if he loses one the next two, um, Titans don't have to do is win next week in the end. So he has to win pretty much both of these games. And you're going into a cold weather area as a rookie. And well, it's, cold, just, it's, cold, it's cold in Pittsburgh, too. So. Yeah, but, I mean, he's not. Remember, he's a rookie. So it's not like he's had years of this. He, I mean, he played out there in Oregon. So he's used to rain, but he's not used to this type of weather. <laughs> he's used to rain. So. I just have a feeling that I think the Jets are going to pull this off. What about you? Um, listen, I'm going to disagree with you on this right. one. Um, I just think that, you know, the, the, the Jets, again, kind of like the Giants, have just been a laughing, you know, you know a, a laughing circus, you know, this year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with all that's going on over there, now they're, you know, they're, they're there's talks about trying to, you know, trade Le'Veon Bell now. I mean, it's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. that's stupid. Like, I mean, seriously. You know, and, and I think there was talks, too, about, you know, Trying to trying to get LBJ or something like that. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, there's a lot of stories coming out of uh, you know you know uh, the New York the New York Jets, but um, I just think they find a way to lose. Uh, you know, Pittsburgh, like we were talking about earlier, man, like slowly and quietly have you know how the hell are we talking about them right now? <laughs> it's crazy. I, I didn't think we were talking. I didn't think we were talking about any of these teams at this point. Yeah. But now look, th- th- this game is big. Yeah, big playoff implications. You know, Steelers' defense, you know, has just, you know, played really, really well, kept them in games. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that defense is going to, you know, make Sam look bad today. Uh, and I think, you know, the Pittsburgh offense is going to find a way to win. So. All right, so. <laughs> Even in the cold weather. So. so, all right, so we'll get, we'll see about that. Well, hopefully, 
for my hopefully, team. Hopefully, I'm wrong for your, for for your my team. team so, but I, have, but I, I don't know. That's just what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking with but, my but Dre, that mean That would mean Dre gets to live another week. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll play next week. It's Baltimore who could be resting their starters because we'll see if they win today. If they win, they, they'll have the number one seed locked I think, up. I think they definitely win today. Uh, we were going to talk about the Titans versus New Orleans, but now because of the Texans, Texans win, that game literally means nothing. nothing. Like so, And no Derrick Henry. No Derrick Henry. So I expect the, the Saints to win that game, but <clears throat> who knows? The line is... The line is weird at its NFL. Any, any given Sunday, anything can happen. But probably the divisional game, the best game of the week right now for, for the most important game on Sunday, Oof. Dallas Cowboys Crazy. and the Philadelphia Eagles. Crazy. Both are 7-7. Seven seven. <laughs> Both have been horrible up and down all year. The, I, I said the, the Eagles have had – you always talk about Cat having nine lives. They're the bird that has nine lives. And I feel, <laughs> the like, they, and I feel like they've lost eight of their lives right now, and they're on their light last one. They lose this week. They're eliminated. They're they win, they're up. I think they get it done, and I'm going to say the Eagles beat the Cowboys. It's crazy how this game, both teams control their destiny. Yeah. Because if the Cowboys win, they win the division. Yeah. But if the Eagles win this week, and yeah. then they win next week, they're they in. take the division. Yeah. It's crazy. It's nuts. Um, Does anybody really care about this fucking game? Yes. Yeah, of course. It's, awesome it, 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 it's for It's for the worst of division in, in the <laughs> NFL. Um, but listen, I, and, um, and, I th- and I think if I think if the Eagles win, I actually think that they will upset somebody in the playoffs. So because I'm, they had the playoff experience, I'm, they've been there before. I think they'll they do. Won't it. Win next week, I'm not. Make sure they don't win. No, no, we're definitely <laughs> oh, losing next are, week. We're oh definitely my losing next week. Oh, that'll be the horrible. Giants are definitely losing. If you next lose week. that on Chase Young in the last <laughs> week, of the battle, oh my no, god, no, the Giants are definitely losing next week. But but listen, I, I'm not sold. I'm still not sold on the Cowboys. Um, you know, they did beat the Rams. You know, last week, but the Rams are just a horrible team. I think. So again, they they, they took took a step back. There's questions question mark today about Dak Prescott's shoulder, which I think is going to be big because they're going to need him, you know, to beat Philly. I was surprised they said this is the first practice he missed like all year yeah, like, in his career, yeah. yep. like not just all year in his <clears throat> career. That's the first time that he didn't take the majority of snaps in practice. That's shocking for a so, football player. Who was that? Dak. No, I, <laughs> I, in the beginning of the year, I had them splitting. You know uh, the season series, mm-hmm. so and I'm not going against that. I think Philly pulls Ooh. it out today in in a close one. Yeah, and I think Philly clinches the division next week because I think they definitely beat the Giants next week. Not so Eli's coming out. So so, so, so let's, <laughs> Eli's coming out for one more game. So <laughs> let, <laughs> remember, so, it's gonna be Philadelphia. It's not gonna be in New York. So so, so, so it's gonna be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, done. We're done. That was it. That was it. All right. So let's say this one real quick before we get to the last game. If the Eagles do win, because we both have the Eagles winning, that means in the first round of playoffs, they will host either the San Francisco 49ers That's nuts. or the Seattle Seahawks. That's fucking crazy. That's I said crazy. I think they win. I honestly think they will pull the upset and win that game. What do you think? Do you think they win? No, I don't think they win. I don't think they get out of the first round. I know. I our producer think they thinks they'll, the be, they'll be San Fran. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be San he definitely Fran. thinks that. He thinks they'll be San Fran. I don't think so. I, I, I just think that you, know, they're, you don't want to limp it to the playoffs like this. But they've been winning. They, they win. They win two game winning streak. What do you mean? Yeah, but against who? Who? Who do they beat? A win is a win. Yeah, still, regardless, <laughs> I mean, your, your true colors, like you said, like we've said it this whole year, and and him too. And you, your, your true colors, your, your true colors show when you play good, good teams, the top teams. Your your, your true team shows. So. And then why we push up New England so much? <laughs> New England beat a bunch of bad teams and they because, lost their good they teams. Because they get the calls. They, they, they find a <laughs> fucking We're not going to talk about the cheating England, right? So, let's yeah, so, so but, You're a Patriot. But listen, yeah, exactly. I'm not a Patriot fan. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> listen, yeah, I'm, listen I'm, far, I'm far from a Patriot fan. <laughs> I'm just but, but listen, if, 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 that, if that happens, I'm definitely not. If that happens, that's gonna be crazy they'll, they'll win that. two straight games going into the playoffs and then the Seattle, and I mean, they, that means the Seattle San Fran lost their last game of the year, so they'll be going in on a loss. And then they're gonna be a dangerous team because and they gotta go again, on the road. They've been there. You they, talked about going, going from West Coast to East Coast to okay. West Coast teams. Don't have to go up right. West Coast to Philly. Point. It's a good point. I think Philly will pulls that off. Wow. But last game we want to talk about is the big Monday night game with Green Bay and Minnesota. Woo! Listen, these two teams are both going to make the playoffs, but this is for the division. They, they're fine for the division. This one is going to be in Minnesota. Green Bay has the one game lead. <laughs> and it's a tough one for me to call. I, I want it you to is, go first because it it's so close that even as of now, I still don't know who I would pick. I mean, again, obviously because of what happened yesterday with the Rams losing, uh, Vikings, you know, they're they're in. So, um, you know, Green Bay already clinched their, uh, their playoff spot. Mm. Um, like you said before, this is for the division. So, um... In it's Minnesota, definitely going to be a tight game. 
I'm going to go with Minnesota only because they're home. Only because, you know, Rodgers hasn't been that dynamic. Playing LaFleur. Best player, you know. <laughs> Playing the coach. Uh, you know, best quarterback this, this year. He's had his issues. Um, you know, obviously his, his running game. Their running game has kept kept them in. Aaron Jones has had a, had a hell yeah, of a year. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going with Minnesota because because they're their home team. Um, obviously, they have their weapons on offense. Um, the as long as team, Kirk, Kirk Cousins doesn't fuck it up, I, I well, think they win this game. Just said, fuck it up. Like, I, I, I think I think they I think they pull it off. That's his middle name right there, <laughs> Kirk Fuck Up Kirk Cousins. Fuck up Cousins? <laughs> that's what it, that's what it is. So. I, because of that, Shaq makes a reminder. I'm going to go with Green Bay because there's no way I'm going to trust Cousins in a big game. I don't care if he's at home. I don't care if he's in his backyard. I don't care if he's in his own bed playing. I am never going to trust Kirk Cousins in a big game. So I'm going to. This go is why they brought him in, though, right? For this big game, they brought him in for this they, big game. They should have so. left. They should have left the previous guy. Who, who was the quarterback there? That that bum. That, uh, Case uh, Keenum. Case Keenum. They should have left Case Keenum there. At least he got to an NFC Championship <laughs> game. Listen, I, I got Green Bay. I think Green Bay is going to win the game outright. So forget the four and a half spread because it's like four and a half spread right now. Uh, and I think Green Bay finds a way to clinch this division tomorrow night. Fancy question. Yes. Who do you start? Cousins or the jerk off from the Chicago? Who's Chicago playing again? Kansas City. Um, <clears throat> I will probably go Trubisky. I think I think that's going to be a high scoring game. Where where is that game? In Chicago. In Chicago. I think that's going to be a high scoring game. Uh, I think the Chiefs will win it, but I think it's going to be high scoring. What do you think? That's a close one, but uh, uh, I'm going to agree with Pete. I, I, I think it's going to be a high scoring game only because I think Green. <sighs> for Green me, I was about to say Green Bay's defense for me is is. Is definitely uh, is definitely a better defense uh, to play against. So um, you know Trubisky's look you know good last yeah. couple games. So yeah. I would go with Trubisky. And you know what's weird is because <clears throat> they've had him run more. Like, he, he tried they try to make him into a pocket no, yeah, passer. Pocket passer. And I don't know why these offense coordinators and coaches keep doing they try that. Try to like, get cute. I don't know. Why. You saw his first year; he was a good running quarterback. <clears throat> he ran for like four hundred or five hundred yards, and they and they thought he was going to be all right. This next guy, he's going to be good. This year, they make him be a pocket passer and. It sucked. They finally run the past couple weeks and it, and it got better. So, uh, I if there are not any more fancy questions, we got about uh, 30, 40 minutes until the game starts. Woo! Big Sunday. Listen. Let's go, we will, G-Man! We will be back with you uh, probably not on Christmas Day. We're going to be a little busy, but we will be back with you before the game starts next week. Give you a rundown on week 17, whatever playoff things to go through. Obviously, we got the Seattle versus San Fran for the division. So, We'll catch you guys next huge, week. Huge, huge. Peace out, guys. Later, mi gente.